Welcome to the channel guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at repairing some rotted wood. Um, as you can see we've got this play frame behind us and we've got a couple of sections of um, rotted wood. Got one here and another little one starting there so I thought while we're tackling the big one we might as well crack on and prevent that from getting any worse. So we're going to do it in two parts. Step one is using the Ron Seal wet rot wood hardener. Um, this is a liquid, it's clear, and basically it just really makes the wood nice and tough and it stops it from rotting further. And then once that's completely dry, we're gonna go over it with the Ron Seal wood filler. Um, it does actually say to use these hand in hand. If you look on the back, uh, where is it? Fill the damaged area with high performance wood filler and that's exactly what that is. So they are actually meant to be used together just bear that in mind obviously another wood filler probably will work but it's always nice to do exactly as it says so first step is to get rid of any rotted wood so we're going to do that now so job number one is to get rid of any bits of rotted wood that are still in there anything that's damp we just want to scrape it all out as you can see how easily this crumbles um, it won't work if all that is still sat there you can use anything really i'm just using bit of a screwdriver so I'm going to scrape that out it does say on the tin as well bit of a tip if you want it says to um, drill little holes to make it soak into the wood a little bit better I'm gonna avoid that step just because this is quite thin I don't really want it to drip all the way through another thing I do have to be a bit careful of here is obviously I don't want to scrape all the way through so it's gonna be a little bit hit and miss but I'm doing this more as a, a guide right so I feel I've scraped out as much as I can um, like I say if depending on what it is you're treating get as much out as possible I've just got to be a little bit careful because I want to go all the way through obviously um, so now we're going to use the wet rot wood hardener give it a shake as it says to do so on the back then the lid you actually want to use that as like a little trough type thing to store it in A bit of a child lock on right I'd advise as well using gloves and goggles to be fair but I've not got any on me which I know is a bit bad um, if you're indoors using it open door or window to let some ventilation in obviously I'm outdoors at the minute so I should be okay that's the same when it comes to the wood filler as well I have used that stuff inside and that is really, really strong and it takes a long time for the smell to go away. Right, cap off. So what we're going to do is pour a little bit into here. There we go. And the next tip, use an old brush. It says on the tin to clear your, um, your tools after use, but you will not be able to, use, to um, clean them. I've tried before and I really couldn't get it clean. I'm going to go on the outside as well and I might even just dab a little bit underneath. You want to make sure it gets in all the little nooks and crannies. Let's get it all in there. Don't absolutely drench it, but you do want to make sure it's all well covered. I'm just going to do like the little edges, like I say. Just dab it in make sure you've got absolutely everything I've still got a few little loose bits of wood in here that shouldn't be a problem but obviously try and scrape out as much as you can it's going to put a little bit more on this edge and I might just run a little bit underneath not that I'll be able to see because that crack has gone all the way through to the bottom which is again is why I didn't want to um, scrape too much out right so I'm gonna let that dry then we're going to come back and that's when we're going to go over it with the um, the wood filler so we've given it a couple of hours it's all dry now it's nice and firm so next stage is using the ron seal high performance wood filler i'm not sure how many colors it comes in i know you get like a clear natural and we've gone for dark just because obviously run outdoor furniture so brand new packet what you do you get two separate bits you get a little mixer or an application tool a little pack of hardener because you only need a tiny amount of that and then in here 
we've got the filler itself. So, this, like I say, has got a very, very strong smell to it. So if you're not outdoors, make sure you've got windows and doors open. Um, it's very, very strong. Brand new tin, and yet it looks about half full. So that is how it's meant to be. Um, personally, I use a scrap bit of wood to mix it on because once it dries, it dries very, very hard, and then I'll just chuck it away. So what you want to do is scrape some onto whatever you're mixing it on. You want to start with about a golf ball size amount. Okay. And then you want about a pea drop amount of the hardener. So not much. There we go. Um, the more hardener you use, the quicker it will set so bear that in mind and what you want to do now is just mix it up until it's all the same color obviously i'm going to do this in a few steps because i've only got a little bit to mix on plus the more you have like i say it will start firming up quite quickly um, so i prefer to do a little bit at a time the mix a really big amount at once plus then you know the mixing ratios are quite good with the golf ball size amount and a pea drop okay so keep spreading that a little bit make sure it's all mixed in nicely and then all you want to do now is fill in your gaps so i'll make a start on that you want to push it all the way in like i say i'm gonna to have to keep making up little bits so what I'll do, I'll do this little bit on camera now, and then I will do the rest and I'll show you the finished result. What you want to do though, is make sure it sits a little bit higher than the surface. It does depend what you're fixing, I suppose. If you're not that bothered, it doesn't need to look perfect. Like this is outdoor equipment, so it's not the end of the world. My main concern is getting it all pushed in the little gaps. But if you're doing something where you want it to have a nice finish, Make sure it sits a little bit above the surface so when it comes to sanding, then it'll be flush with it. Otherwise, you're going to find you're going to have to add a little bit more afterwards. Try and clean up as you go as well. Again, for me, it's not too much of an issue because of what I am applicating it to. But again, if it's something where you want it to look neat when it's done, it dries absolutely solid. So bear that in mind. there you have it guys the hole is filled in i just need to let that harden now and then i'll sand it down and tidy it up a little bit for me looks ain't um, my main concern i just wanted it filled in so it can be used again in terms of your tools afterwards if it's something you want to reuse in the future get it cleaned up straight away use a bit of white spirits if it's not coming off um, any other questions please feel free to ask pop it in the comments and i'll get back to you hope this video has helped and i'll see you next time